Hey guys, Mary Languish here, and today is part two of how to put together your own art show and art exhibition. You can check out part one down in the description below. So if you are an artist interested in getting your artwork displayed and shown to more people in person and possibly sell in person, this video series is for you. So let's get started on part two of this series. So this video is about advertising for your show. So this particular step will be a few months to a few weeks ahead of your show, like before your show. So the point of this step is for you to basically explain to your audience, to the people that might come to your show, what your show is about. They want to know what to expect when they come visit your show, as well as be attracted to what you're offering. Let's just say it right now. Not everyone is gonna like your art. It's just, it's just the truth of being an artist. There's very specific people that are gonna like your specific style, your specific subject matter, and that's okay. But I think the biggest thing that you can do is create hype around this event as sort of a social event, as sort of a fun activity for more than just people that like your art, but people that like you or people that like what you're doing. So a few things that we wanna talk about is that you wanna create an event with some fun activities for lots of different ages, for different people of different interests. Things like a group art project, some interactive art pieces, or a drawing contest. I talk about more ways to create an interactive art show in video three. A big part of advertising your art show is creating flyers. That can be digital flyers or actual physical flyers that you, you know, hand out or send out or post or whatever. And when you're creating a flyer, you wanna think about attracting people. It has to be colorful, it has to be interesting, it has to be eye-catching. It should be simple to the point, not overwhelming. It shouldn't give away too much information, but it needs to have the right information, like the date and the time and the place. All of those things incorporated make a great, great flyer. Again, it can be an email flyer. It can be something you post on social media. It can be a physical flyer you go and print and you snail mail to people, or you hand out to people, or you put at certain coffee shops or different places around town, whatever you need to do to get the word out there that you are having a show to display your work. If you are part of Facebook groups, whether they're artist groups or small business groups in the area that you work and live, sometimes joining some of those or posting in some of those can be another way to advertise your show. And another big one, which I hope you're doing as an artist is emailing your specific email contact list. If you haven't been collecting emails personally for your list of contacts, now is a good time. <laughs> it's good to have people that are trusting you with their email and you are staying in contact with them. They wanna know what you're up to, so send them an email, let them know you're doing a show as well. And then of course, social media. Social media is great and not so great sometimes, but when it comes to advertising a show and being an artist out there, it can be a huge help. So if you're on Facebook, if you're on Twitter, if you're on Instagram, like post about your show. Now, one thing I've done in the past is not only share the little flyer that I made, I will also give updates on my process for creating this show, whether that's little sneak peeks of my paintings that'll be in the show, whether it's a photo or two of my process, a screenshot of my computer, or you know, whatever it is to kind of give your audience a little glimpse of what you're working on and a reminder that you have a show coming up is a great idea. Maybe you do a weekly post about your art or maybe you do a little, a little hype, a little excitement to get people ready for your show. It's just good to keep them up to date on the process, but don't show them too much. You wanna leave a little suspense. You wanna get them excited to come see everything. So don't post everything. You want them to see the stuff in person. You want them to be rewarded for coming to your show. So there you have it, folks. That wraps up video two of this series of how to create your own art show. If you like this video, or found it interesting, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the little bell, you'll be notified of other videos like this just for you and your artistic journey. So thanks for watching guys. Have a good one. Bye.